Anderson Kreitzer for Camp That's Media in Albany, our wrap up of tonight's Iona win at Siena, 70 to 51, a game Iona had as much as a 31 point lead in the second half. Uh, Siena down a couple of players. Iona played without one of its best players, Ivan Kretow, had a, a boot on one of his uh, ankles today. Um, and uh, But a, a strong start. Iona wanted to get the bad feeling of the loss of Quinnipiac on Sunday out of their system, and they got off to a fast start. Uh, really, the three guards, uh, Greg Gordon, Jeremiah Quigley, and Joel Brown, really had uh, quite a performance uh, moving the ball, setting each other up, and uh, making points. Uh, Iona went deep in its lineup. They put all the freshmen out as a second team fairly early, and... Uh, uh, a couple of players, Alex Bates played well. He had nine points. Dylan Saunders uh, played well. But leading scorer today was a freshman guard. Uh, that is Jeremiah Quigley. Uh, he had 19 points. Real confident directing uh, the offense for Iona. And uh, so uh, a, a fine performance. One of the things that really stood out uh, were the turnovers. 15-0 uh, to zero for Iona in the first half. Uh, on the game, uh, Iona had five and Siena had 20, so a big edge there. Uh, assist 20, eight rebounds. Uh, as you can imagine, pretty uh, close 36 for Iona, 37 for Siena. But uh, Gales uh, shot really well early. First period, they shot 46%, 18 to 39. And uh, not a lot of three point shots today uh, for Iona. They got five of 22. Uh, but uh, uh, Siena really uh, was held. Uh, they shot 37% on the game, and uh, a lot of that was late after Iona had its, uh, its uh, got up to a 31-point lead early in the second half. So uh, good performance by the Gales. They're going to feel uh, confident as they uh, take the bus back to uh, New Rochelle. They're 9 and 10, 4 and 4. And they'll look forward to uh, seeing how they can build off a win like this, gain their confidence as we're now getting in sight uh, just over a month to the MAC tournament down in Atlantic City. So this is time uh, where the Gales really want to uh, uh, up their game to uh, make a run uh, preparing for the MAC tournament. So again, a 70 to 51 win by the Iona Gales here at Siena at the MVP Arena, about 5,100. Coach Anderson uh, talked about how he enjoys playing here. He coached here one time. And, uh, you know, it is this is the arena. Last time I owned it was here, it was the NCAA tournament uh, when they uh, took Connecticut, uh, stretched Connecticut, had a lead over Connecticut uh, in the at the end of the first half. And uh, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of memories for me of, of uh, covering that game. Didn't turn out the way I wanted last game for Rick Pitino, uh, but it was a super evening of college basketball. Every seat in the building was full and noisy, and uh, a lot of uh, Iona fans were here, but a lot of UConn fans that night too. So it's it's a uh, it's an interesting memory of one of your great days covering college basketball, and certainly for Iona, one of its great days being on a great on a big stage, the NCAA tournament. So again, uh, they get a 70 to 51 win here in Albany tonight. I uh, always like to recognize our sponsor, the New York Yankees, the 27 time world champions. Check their website. They got a lot of great ticket offers, a lot of plans coming out for the season as we get closer and closer to pitchers and catchers reporting down in Tampa. And of course we recognize the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. They provide scholarships and mentoring to uh, children of uh, fallen special operation community members. They also take care of Medal of Honor families. Great charity to consider uh, and t just look them up online. So again, uh, it's Ken Kreitzer for CAM. That's media. We cover cadets, midshipmen, military veterans at Iona College, Iona University basketball. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it down. Iona University. Good to see you. Thanks for watching.